guy? Did you know your dog actually is a hazard? Dogs, uh, when it comes to fire safety, come with extra risks and responsibilities that we as dog owners need to know about and deal with. So that's what we're going to talk about today. this year, Chunk and I sat down with Fire Department Chief Stan Taylor with the Peoria Fire Department and talked about what uh, we as dog owners need to do um, to keep our dogs safe and avoid a fire or if there is a fire to get them out safely. Here you go. Some things that can be done, especially in the colder weather, we use space heaters quite a bit. And we have, and our dogs are rambunctious sometimes, so they are apt to knock space heaters over. So never leave your dog unattended or just, you know, running around the house so they can do things like that. We need to keep our dogs away from open flames. Um, candles, they might knock those over. Uh, an idea to use to, is to use the flameless candles instead of the regular candles that have a wick on them and burn. Okay. A lot of times we put nope. our food up on oh, the counter and dogs like to get up there and we keep it close to the stove. Hi. So I like to recommend taking the stove knobs off of the stove so they don't hit the knobs and accidentally turn it on and uh, it may start a fire or leak gas into, um. into the room. Um, don't use glass bowls on your deck, on your wooden deck because the sun will actually magnify through the glass bowl and catch the deck on fire. We always have working smoke detectors. And another good idea is, is to have smoke detectors that are connected to a third party monitoring company. So when your dog is home alone and you have smoke in the house and nobody's there to rescue the dog, is this third party company calls the fire department, you know, notifies them that they have a fire in the house and the fire department will come and uh, put the fire out and rescue the pets. They do have a sticker that you can put on next to your front door that tells the fire department how many pets you have and what kind of pets they are. Recommendation is to keep pets close to the exits. So when the firemen come in the door, the pets are right there. And also keep uh, collars on the pets so if at night, if there's a fire, um, you can get your pet, put the leash on it real quick on the leash, and, and exit the house uh, very quickly, because you don't want to have to be searching for things when you're, when you're in a rush. Yes, dogs want out. I've noticed in my career as a firefighter that as soon as you open the door and they see a way out, they're gone. I've had dogs run by me all the time. Your young pets, make sure you crate them or keep them confined to an area. As little dogs, puppies, they love to chew on wires and things like that. So if dog chewed on a wire, one, it may get shocked, and two, it may start something on fire. One of the things too I recommend is have an emergency kit already prepared for your dog. Keep some food in it, maybe a couple bottles of water, identification of the owner, and veterinary papers, papers from your vet because uh, we have all kinds of emergencies. We have tornado emergencies, and even sometimes we lose power in the cold in the winter time, and you have to leave. Um, and also fires and, and things of that nature. Fire drills, you can act, do fire drills with your pets just like you do with your family, because pets are our family. So um, practice a fire drill sometime of grabbing the leash and putting it on the dog and getting out of the house very fast. And some people recommend that if you can't get your dog and you have to go outside is to leave your door cracked and when you're outside, call for your dog. Maybe your dog will hear you and come running out. Um, we don't, firemen don't recommend leaving your door open when you leave the house, but if you want your dog to get out, I think that may be an alternative too. All right, so, 
Chief Stan did want me to mention that in general, most fires are started by cooking fires. So be sure not to leave your cooking unattended. Um, smoking fires, so don't smoke. Or if you do, be sure you put your cigarettes out fully and safely. And also um, a number of uh, fires are started because of dryers. So be sure to clean out that lint filter um, with every use and check the uh, venting that goes out of your house from your dryer and clean that um, also. So that's about it, huh, Chunk? And we will see you on the next Peoria Dogs.